3 a.m. E. Tangland 232 for 3, Beaumont 105, Knight 80 asterisk, beat South Africa 229, Van Nieger 95 by 7 wickets, scorecard Tammy Beaumont reprised the run hungry form that earned her the player of the tournament award at last year's World Cup, as England completed a come from behind 2 to 1 series win over South Africa with a 7 wicket victory in the third Odiot category. Set a target of 229 after a mixed South African innings that featured a powerful knock of 95 from Dane Van Niekerk as well as another masterclass of wicket-keeping skills from Sarah Taylor. Beaumont's 105 guided her team's fortunes, as she and Heather Knight 80 not out, added 154 for the third wicket to seal the series with 36 balls to spare. It was a one-sided final flurry from England, as Beaumont completed her fifth OD 100 from 121 balls with 13 fours. It was her third against South Africa, and second in the space of three days, and though she fell LBW2. Marazan capped two balls after sealing this latest landmark night and Nat Siver carried England home with no further alarms. It was England's most complete performance of an entertaining and competitive series, and it secured the ninth consecutive series win against South Africa since the rivalry began in 1997, a major factor in the ease of England's victory was undoubtedly the early extraction of the nemesis from the opening two contests, Litzley, who was thwacked on the pad by a big inswinger from Anya Shrubsell for two. Replays showed that the ball would in fact have missed leg stump, but Lee's own reaction had been one of horror as she missed a booming drive, and with no recourse to DRS in this series, it was a hammer blow to South Africa's hopes of setting an imposing total. Nevertheless, Lee's opening partner, Laura Woolvoke, set herself to anchor the innings, and after Andre Stain had fallen LBW to Sophie Eccleston's fourth delivery, she found in Van Niekerk an equally determined partner. The pair added 103 for the third wicket, albeit with the assistance from some lackluster catching from England's fielders, who shelled three chances. Even so, it took until the 32nd over for South Africa to post the 100, as they were tied down by some diligent line and length from Georgia Elwis in particular. Van Niekerk stepped up her intent as the frontline seamers, Shrubsell and Catherine Brunt returned to the attack. Woolvote, however, found the change in pace harder to compute, and after a fine 64 she holed out tamely to mid-off off Elwis. Her departure, however, it wasn't the worst result for South Africa, as it brought the aggressive Chloe Tryon to the crease, and she displayed her credentials with a volley of boundaries before picking out Amy Jones on the long on rope. The outstanding moment of the innings, however, was still to come. That came with Van Niekerk on 95, and eyeing up her maiden OD 100. Taylor was standing up to the stumps against Brunt, the quickest bowler in England's ranks, when she scooped a legside delivery down at her ankles, and whipped off the bales in a single motion. It was a breathtaking display of class from a keeper who had already pulled off one legside blinder in the series opener. This was arguably even better. Moments later, San Luis was caught by Siva before Cap drilled to drive straight back to the spinner, Laura Marsh. South Africa's innings ended with a hat-trick of line calls, two run-outs in a row followed by the first ball stumping of Shabni Mishmael. Taylor, for once, fumbled the initial opportunity, but still had time to recover before the batsman had remade her ground. In response, Beaumont and Amy Jones set a platform in an opening stand of 39, and though Beaumont was fortunate with one LBW appeal on 16, she barely played a full stroke thereafter. Dean Knight made light of a rare misjudgment from Taylor, who played across the line to the impressive Ibo Ngakaka, but by the end they were displaying the poise of champions. 
South Africa's women, however, have proven without doubt that they have closed the gap to the world's leading teams.